Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel, this time from Barcelona. I'm in Barcelona testing two days. And yeah, I'm gonna do a Q&A video this time. I took the 18th most asked questions on from Instagram and I'm gonna answer all of them now. I have my phone here with the questions and yeah, let's get started. Um, the first one was, what are your future plans in racing? So my plan is to do the FIA 3 next year, which is racing together with the F1 on like, some of the weekends. Um, the car is quicker than the one I have now, it has more power but also more aerodynamics. And it's like the biggest F3 series worldwide. Um, I was already planning it to do it this year actually, but then the crash happened in my car, so yeah, this is my plan for next year. Um, you know, it doesn't just depend on what I want, but also what like sponsors want and budget-wise. Um, but yeah, this is my plan for next year and then you need to see what the upcoming years will bring. But um, yeah, in motorsport it's really difficult to plan like your career year by year. Will you race in the UK? So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do a whole season in the UK, let's say, but I'm for sure gonna have like single races there again. So, you know, F1 is racing in Silverstone, F2 is racing in Silverstone, also the F3, which I wanna do next year, is also having a race in Silverstone. So, um, and also last year when I was doing the, the Lara F3, I was also having a race in Silverstone. So I think I will for sure be back, um, but not for a whole season. Favorite racing driver at the moment. So, you know, I'm still like a kind of Lewis Hamilton fan, but um, I take more from more drivers, you know, so Verstappen overtaking, Hamilton and getting the perfect lap together. Um, there's more drivers I think I can learn something from and not one who's doing everything right. So, yeah, I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> Opinion on the Halo, do you see it while driving? So if you specifically look at it, yes, you see it, but in the car while driving, you don't see it because you're focusing on like points more far away, let's say. Um, so it is, it's not really annoying, no. Um, just getting in and out of the car is more difficult, but I think what the FIA did was really good and really clever because um, safety is more important and so I, I'm not against it. Have you ever driven the simulator at the Lara? If you have, how does it compare to other simulators? So for those guys who maybe don't know, but I was at the Lara um, some weeks ago, they invited me because, you know, they built the car which I was racing last year and um, also the car in which I crashed in my car. And they have like a museum now with all the cars they've built and also my car is standing there now. So with my design, with the Flammer Sport design from last year. So they invited me, showed me the whole factory for one day and um, then I saw my car and it's really nice to see it standing between Alonso's car, Gilles Villeneuve's car and so many more. Um, so yeah, it was a really nice day and then they also showed me the simulator they have, which is really big. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture here now, um, but I didn't drive it so I'm not able to compare it. I just know from some race drivers that they actually use it and that it's really good. Well, it actually looks really good because it's really big. I think I've answered this question already in my Q&A, which I did like several months ago. But um, many of you wanted to know again how I actually got into motorsport. So when I was four years, I went on a karting track close to Munich with my dad. And that's actually also where I did my first years. Um, I enjoyed it, I had fun, I did it a lot. And when I was eight, I was allowed to do my first races. And you know, I never thought I would be in F3 one day. But um, yeah, I just kept on doing it and had the support from my whole family. and. I love it, I loved it, and it's my life, you know? So this is how I got into motorsport. What is your favorite thing about driving a race car? This question is really difficult to answer because it's so much. Um, you know, I love the speed, of course. The high speed you get in those cars is incredible. Um, and the higher you get, the quicker the car gets. The aerodynamics is so big. Um, you can go so quick through corners, which is so cool. And then of course I love the races to fight with someone else, to, to overtake, to break on the limit. Um, and you know, in the car you're an athlete, you're alone. But behind this there's so many people working to get the car working. And um, so it's a one sport, one man sport, but also like a team sport. Because there's so many people working to be, to be winning. Will you do the 24 hours in for next year? Um, so you know, um, to do the Nordschleife you need to be 18, you need to have a late license. 
um, so I wasn't allowed to do it past years. But um, I'm going to try to do my license soon, my permit, let's say. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'm going to do it next year for sure. It's a really nice event, incredible track, 24 kilometers through forest, up, down, left, right. It's super cool. Um, I'm already doing the track on the simulator. And if I could get a good offer next year, maybe I'm going to do it. So my dream car at the moment would be um, a Mercedes AMG C63 C63 S Coupe in grey matte with black rims. So this is a car which I actually would love to have. Do you have any ritual, rituals before races? Yes, I do. I do have a lot of rituals actually. So in the morning, I always need to wash my hair. So if you see me, you see me on the racetrack, I always have fresh hair washed, fresh washed hair, so um, then I always put my right glove on before my left one. I have to go in to the car from the right side and before I drive off I always need to tell myself five different words which motivate me, which focus me and I tell them since like five years, uh, since like eight years I do this, so pretty long. So the last questions are gonna be more private, let's say, and not that much about racing. Um, so first one, how tall are you? I am 174 centimeters tall, which is not too big for a race car, luckily. What's your favorite city except Munich? So I'm from Munich, I live in Munich, I was born in Munich, and this is my favorite city, um, just because it's my hometown, you know. Um, but apart from this, I love um, Hamburg, which is like in the north of Germany. Um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful city with like old buildings and um, yeah, it's, it's just really nice. And like at the sea and stuff. And apart from this, I also like Barcelona a lot, which is um, yeah, I think everyone knows it. Like a really good, beautiful city at the sea with really a lot of people, a lot of nice people. A racetrack is really close where I'm at the moment, actually. Um, you can eat really good and have nice shops, nice, just nice old buildings. And yeah, those two cities are my favorites next to Munich. Um, morning or evening person? Definitely evening person. You know, it's not like I'm moody or so in the morning, but I need my time to wake up, apart from race weekends. On race weekends, I'm also a morning person. But um, yeah, when I'm back home, I prefer, or like I'm more of an evening person. Wine or beer? Uh, water. <laughs> I don't drink wine or beer. I don't like beer at all. And if I drink wine, then it's just like really, really not often. Um, and it's just white wine, because I don't like red wine, so yeah, I may stick to water. Um, mountains or sea? So I love both of them, you know. In the mountains you can do a lot of sports, it's really nice in the winter to, do, to go skiing and it's not that far from Munich. Um, it's really nice to calm down, but the sea is, for holidays I think, nicer because yeah, you can get a tan, it's nice to swim and yeah, I, I prefer sea probably a little bit more. Sushi or pizza? Definitely sushi. Uh, I love sushi over everything, it's one and only love, um, yeah, sushi. What do you do when you're at home? Um, so, you know, until last year I was still going to school, but at the moment I'm just yeah, living to do racing. So I'm training a lot, I do a lot of simulator, um, media work, um, sponsor work, and apart from this, of course, I also sometimes meet up with friends, um, do stuff with my sister, um, go play tennis or shopping or cinema or so. Um, but this is actually, yeah, you know, to do this sport and to achieve your goal, it's like kind of a full-time job. So I'm pretty busy with just racing, let's say. Five things you would take to a lonely island. So it's for sure my sister, um, a race car, a race track, even if it's really difficult to take a race track, I know, but yeah, race track because I want to race. Um, watermelon and my phone to stay up to date on Instagram. So yeah, this is what I would take to a lonely island if I would have to go there. Apart from this, this was the end of the Q&A. I answered all 18 questions. Um, I hope you liked it and have or got to know me a little bit better now. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm in Barcelona right now. Um, the next video will probably be um, a vlog about the MotoGP weekend. I was with my sister rapping. And yeah, apart from this, I hope you liked it. Just hit the subscribe button if you didn't hit it now. Give it a thumbs up and see you next time again.